Okay, we're live. Sorry about, I had to check a couple of things before I started talking there. Uh, I am at the Oxnard Fire Tech location and academy, and we're gonna look at a fire alarm control panel. So the first thing I wanna point out right now is that it's in a uh, data room Sometimes you'll find them inside a, um, like an electrical room or just a closet. This one happens to be the data room. And one of the things that they've done wrong, see it says tell data here. It's also supposed to say fire alarm control panel. That's one of the requirements by NFPA. So we're gonna go in the room here and you can see I've got some of my other cameras set up and we're gonna switch cameras in a second and I'm gonna continue just to explain the different parts of a fire alarm control panel. As I said before uh, in the lecture, the fire alarm control panel is your, uh, it's your brains. It's your brains of the whole uh, fire alarm system. So if you see here, uh, the the two panels, we have a, a booster panel here. So this is the one that we're most concerned about. This is where all the controls are. And uh, I'll go in there and uh, change camera views here. And we can see a close up of the fire alarm control panel. As you can see, it's a big deal of circuit board. And this is the brains. This is controls everything. Um, the main fire alarm control panel will always have, especially the new ones, this control uh, unit here, which is ha takes a, a key only fire personnel should never mess with this other than to push these buttons okay system reset signal silence alarm acknowledge trouble acknowledge these are uh, buttons that we can push the rest of this is for setting up the system and that takes a technician that is with uh, the fire alarm con company so um, if we were to have showed up here on a, a, a fire alarm, it would read which location was having the problem up here. And if the door was closed, we could even just deal with it. You know, usually the key is here because they're in a locked room almost always. But um, you can do what you need to do. Read it, push the buttons, etc. cetera. So, um, Every control panel, it's gonna it shoots wires all over the place to all of the other uh, notification devices and initiation devices. Now, <clears throat> it is important that I point out uh, every alarm system has to have some kind of power backup, and most of them you're going to see a battery backup in high rise or in larger buildings. You might see a full on generator. Um, but this system has dedicated phone line, dedicated power. This power isn't serving anything else. This part of the electrical panel is just for the system. And the phone line is a separate phone line. And whenever there's an alarm, they get a signal at the monitoring company and then they call the fire department or call someone here um, a representative for the company but getting back to the power now this is a, a pretty heavy duty battery a 12 volt battery to back this up sometimes you'll see two of these or I'll show you in the other panel a couple of smaller ones so um, one another thing that's not right about this the batteries are supposed to be marked as to the date that they were installed it's supposed to be written on here and uh, you, you know what, off the top of my head, I forget how many years it is, but the batteries have to be changed every like three years or something like that. So battery backup has to have power backup. These are the buttons that we would use. Now, uh, we mentioned in the lecture that there's supervisory and trouble. So 
trouble means that something's broken in the system. So uh, if there's an electrical short, or uh, usually these happen after a rain, uh, when it's rained, there's moisture in the air, or there might even be some wires that go underground and get exposed, exposed to moisture. So they'll set off a system trouble. Now, when there's a trouble, they need to call out a technician. A lot of times they don't want to. So what we do is we force them to. We put them on fire watch and we say, until you get it fixed, you have to have somebody here, a security guard or someone who's watching the location on fire watch until it's fixed. Uh, a supervisory is also uh, nicknamed a tamper device. Uh, if somebody messes with the system, the supervisory will go off. So if someone uh, starts shutting down the water for the sprinkler system or trying to turn off different parts of the system, the supervisory will go off and that sends a message to the uh, monitoring company and they'll send someone out, someone out to see what's going on. So we're going to change views here and we'll look at this booster panel too. Uh, so as you can see, it's right next to it. And basically, the, you don't notice the biggest difference is you don't have the control panel with the uh, digital controls. So here, we've just got more uh, circuit breakers and electrical stuff that alarm guys know what it is. I have no idea, but uh, it's this is the brains. This is running everything, and that panel is how they control everything. So uh, notice again, we've got two little smaller batteries. Uh, they're still 12 volt, but they're not as big of batteries, and um, they're there for uh, emergency backup. Now that's the basics of an alarm system. There's a couple other things though that uh, are wrong with this alarm system. There's supposed to be a set of plans right here that um, tell us if anybody comes to repair it, let's say they decide to change companies who's uh, installed it, now somebody else is going to start maintaining it. There needs to be a set of the plans here. Um, okay, one last thing I want to show you, and you're going to see my ugly mug again. So, um, right up there, above the system, there's a smoke alarm. And we do that because, hey, this is the brains. This is controlling everything. And so we want to make sure if there's a fire in this room, so it's sharing power. Uh, I'll show you over here is the security. And there's a lot of uh, electrical in here. And there's also the data bank for uh, controlling all of the computers and the internet and the Wi-Fi and all of that. So, so this, this room gets really hot. hot. If, if they, they ever have a fire in here, well, the last thing we want going is the, the fire alarm system. So what we do is we require, and a PA requires that there be a smoke alarm right above the system. So if anything happens in this room, it sets it off within 10 to 30 seconds. It's really fast. So that's how we protect the system, and uh, that's it. We're, I'm sorry, I'm so shaky. Uh, I'm not using my gimbal, so sorry if the, you're feeling a little nauseated from that. We're going to go look at one more thing, and uh, that's the enunciator panel that is closer to the front door for firefighters. Okay. Oz out.